This video clip is a supplementary video for the course INE315 Modeling Industrial Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Lingo software to solve a model and find the optimal solution. The example that we are going to use today is a diet problem. We have a minimization problem uh, about the three different food stuff which each of them has a specific price and for the diet we need at least a, a specific requirement amount of the fat carbohydrate and protein so this is our model we have a minimization our objective function shows the total cost of the food stuff and we have three different constraints regarding to the fat carbohydrate and protein and the last one here we have the sign restriction so how we can enter this information into the lingo software so in the first step you have to enter the information for objective function so for that this uh, for this purpose you have to write the first type of the objective function is it minimization or maximization in our problem we have a minimization problem so we are going to write mean as you see the color is going to be changed from black to blue so it shows the objective function then you have to put the equal sign and write the uh, coefficient of the objective function and the constant just what we have to do here uh, in order to show the multiplication between the objective function coefficient and decision variables we have to use the uh, star sign so here we have for example 15.0 60 divided by 1000 multiply by we use the star sign x1 plus 18.9 divided by 1000 multiply by x2 plus 12.7 divided by 1000 multiply by x3 at the end of the line when you finish the objective function you have to put semicolon and press enter go to the new line now we can enter the uh, constraint part so we finish this part now we go to the second part which is a constraint which is a fat constraint so here same as the previous one 4 multiply by x1 plus 2 multiply by x2 plus 4 multiply by x3 this is greater than or equal to 440 minimum amount of the fat we finish the first constraint and we have to put semicolon again at the end of the line we go to the second constraint which is the carbohydrate to multiply by x2 plus 3 multiply by sorry I made a mistake here 2 multiply by x1 3 multiply by x2 and 1 multiplied by x3 should be greater than or equal to 150 and put the semicolon at the end of the line so we finished the first and the second constraint just remaining is the last constraint 3x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 greater than or equal to 320 and this is for protein limit So 3 multiplied by x1 plus x2, 1 multiplied by x2, we don't, we don't need to write anything, plus 3 multiplied by x3 greater than or equal to 320 and again at the end you have to put the semicolon now we finish all of the constraint where we